Okay, it's day 26 in a row of walking at least one mile every day for 30 days. And uh, it's 26 days in a row and I'm a little bit different part of the neighborhood today. So I'm gonna put the camera on and uh, we'll get going. All right, we got a special treat today. walk in a different part of the neighborhood and if uh, you like cars and exotic cars there's a special uh, place hidden down here it's a, uh, I think they work uh, it's a re body shop and uh, people people don't know about it but they uh, work on all types of exotic cars and it's hidden down this little alley up here nobody knows about it but I've driven by it uh, many times and they always have uh, multiple, multiple Ferraris, Lamborghinis, uh, like million dollar cars and they're always just sitting out. I guess they put them out to work on them, the other ones in the garage, but they always seem to be working on at least anywhere from 10 to 20 different Ferraris or Lamborghinis uh, in one day. Some of them are in the garage and some of them are sitting out. So I'm gonna walk by there and take a look at them. It should be, hopefully they'll have a bunch of them out today. But I guess they send them from all over the world to, or the country to be worked on here. So let's see how many they got out today. It looks like a few, three or four. I don't know how many are in the garage. There's a bunch of them, usually. Let's see what they got out today. Ferrari, another Ferrari, an older Ferrari, I don't know what year that one is. Never seen a Ferrari that color. This is a later model from Montana. What is that one? I still don't know. BB. 512i or something. I don't know what it is. They always have interesting cars. I guess they just painted this one. It's an older one. I don't know what year it is. That's a dealer. 512i. Across the street, your classic red Ferrari. Wide. It's a good looking car. Never seen one with a spoiler like that on the back. It's an orange Lamborghini, yellow Ferrari. What is this? This is a, uh, I don't know what it is. What's it say on the front? Sunbeam. It's a Porsche over here. It's like it's just been painted. You can smell the paint. See in the garage, they got all bunches of them in there. Hood raises straight up there. Huh. It's a couple more Ferraris. They send them from all over the country. Walk around these two. See what model it is. It doesn't say. It says Ferrari. This one's from Arizona. Classic red F355 GTS. Clean. Looks 
like a car show every time I walk past here. Yeah. Fast cars. If you need your Ferrari worked on, this is the place to call. Like I say, it's kind of hidden down this alley. It's what looks like down the alley, it's just like an alley. And uh, nobody really knows about it. So that was kind of interesting. Oh, I forgot to start the clock. Oh well, start it now. All right, put in your guesses. Got so excited about going by the car shop, I forgot to start the clock. Well, that's all right. We'll do, we're gonna do 1.1 today. Day 26. We'll walk in a different part of the neighborhood today. See what we see. We say we always see something interesting. Those Ferraris or something else. You know, I passed them one more time before we go. I never really walked in this neighborhood, part of this neighborhood before. So I always see something interesting. See what we see today. I have no idea how many dogs. We'll put it at uh, over under at three and a half. Uh, put in your guess how many, uh, how long I'll walk today. How long it'll take me. I'm going to do at least 1.1. So write down your guess. I never walked down this street before. That's a big house. It's like about five bedrooms. Huh. A big house too. Wow. More like houses here instead of townhomes. My neck of the woods. Not that far away, only maybe like a mile. Like an old uh, Leave it to Beaver house there. It's all big houses. A three car garage, like a five bedroom. Huh. Never walked over here, never even driven over here before. They're all right on top of each other. Big. It's another big, all big house. It's kind of tucked away back here. I never even driven back here. What's that? Some kind of little dog there. I don't know what they're doing there. Huh. No townhomes back here. These are all houses. Big houses. As big as. Two or three townhomes. Huge. All different too. They still got the Christmas lights up. We got a Bentley. We got a hundred thousand dollar Bentley there. We got a driveway that's redone. Another Rolls Royce. The Rolls Royce, I didn't even notice it. Look at that. Huh. All kinds of nice cars. Stickers on their house. Weird. Never walked down here before. It's interesting. Hello. Mustang. The red door. Uh, interesting cul de sac, you gotta say that. Rolls Royce, Bentley. All kinds of stuff. Like an olive army green house. It's the kind of houses that would have a Ferrari. Not many people out. See what's down here. I'm gonna walk by this uh, a motorcycle here. Indian. 
the classic. You don't see any of those hardly ever. Man, it's a lot of interesting vehicles. Look at that. Indian Scout. It's a later model. They've been around forever. Yeah, I've never seen one really up close style like that. Indian Scout. Hmm. I've seen some older models on uh, TV and stuff that show uh, American pickers. They always look for the old Indians. But that's a newer one, obviously. Huh. Yeah, I guess we'll walk down here. See if there's any more. This is a more big house. Interesting. I said I've never even driven down here before. Multi-million dollar houses. Maybe that's a, take them up there and get their cars worked on at the Ferrari place. Well, write down what day this is for you. How many days in a row you've done it. If you're enjoying the channel, it's keeping you motivated. I'm going to make it to 30 days, I hope. It's 20, day 26, almost there. Let's see what this is going on down here. Let's see. Uh, decide which way to go. Let's walk down this way a little bit. Uh, I think we go up a street and then go down. Looks like some big houses up here. Somebody's got a boat in their yard. Huh, hadn't seen that. There's some different things on this trip. Wow, two big houses right here, side by side. It smells like eucalyptus. Huh. Uh, big houses back here. Look at that house. It's like a taking up the whole corner block. Wow. Got a Valentine's decoration. Look like these houses should be down at the beach. Cut across and look at this house. It's a bus. Where is this? Chrysler. Ah, look at this house. So that's the front door. Three car garage. It's a, is that a Hummer? I don't know what that is. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, that's weird. The side of their house is facing that street. You think the you got the garage right here, you think the front door would be on this street. Huh. It's a unique house too. That looks like it's from the 60s. All kinds of stuff down this little street. You'll see these two by the front of this house is right here, both facing each other. Huh. So big, I guess you don't know which way the front is. Except the whole block. Look down here a little more and see what's going on. Oh, I like that have comment on it. Yeah. <laughs> There's another big house. All kinds of stuff. Here's like a beachy green houses, different windows. Look at this, different windows from every house we see. Huh, got a lot of windows. Know where the front door is? On this side? Yeah, you go from the side, it must be a 60s house. Like two of them put together. Whoa, what do they got here? A big old uh, trailer. 
Man, we must go drive across country with that thing. Look how big that is. Huh. Man. All kinds of different things on this street. Another looks like 60s house, the blue beach theme. You got a couple orange trees in their house. Front yard, look at that. Huge oranges. At least that's a huge orange. Man. Another little, wow, it's a little one story, but look how far back it goes. They must have added on to that house. Got a garage and a house. This thing, oh, there's two different houses. Look at that house. Ah. Weird, I got a little ranch there from the 60s, and the next door, they across the street, they have mansions. More like Manhattan Beach than, uh, I don't even know if this is considered Redondo Beach. Torrance, or, not sure. No, it is Redondo. So we'll walk back this way. Almost did a half. Look at this view, wow. Oh, they got a coat of arms. All kinds of stuff. There's a couple of cars I could get out of the street. That coat of arms. You don't see that in any houses. Gargoyle statues. Look at this. Wow. All kinds of stuff. Unique street, a big house. Look at that. Maybe six bedrooms or something. A lot of stained glass windows. Wow. Yeah. Ultra modern there. Hardly have any windows. And then next door, a more California conventional. Have fruit trees in the front yard. Wow, I never knew all these houses were tucked back in here. Crazy. A very brown looking house. Interesting, all kinds of stuff. There's a little house for sale in the 60s, I think. Schedule a tour with the app. Everything's with an app anymore. A lot of places we were walking by yesterday, they tear down these 60s houses and put a three on a lot. Now these houses, they tear down the house and put up a mansion. Huge. It's one house. More modern. Vines coming down their garage. Wrigley Field. Get out of the street. Whoa, how far? Big house. 
I don't know where their front door is. This garage here, I guess it's on the side of the house. I think a lot of these houses put their front door. Oh, here it is. Right there on the front. A balcony up there. They probably don't ever go out it. Here we are back at the boat. We passed the boat. They got a boat in their front yard. down here and see what's going on. A little alley down there. Beachy blue, one story ranch next to a two story humongous house. See what's going on here. They got it all packaged, covered up. What could that be? Is it like a RV, I guess? I don't know. I guess so. Maybe they just go on it on trips every now and then. And they keep it covered. Yeah, it must be an RV. Huh. Yep. I think you hit two or three ranches and then a big two story. Army green stucco, I guess. Keeps the heat off. I don't know. They got several packages at their door. A lot of cars coming down this street. I think we've only seen like one dog. Another RV. People like to take their go RV. That one's for sale if you want it. I'm not even sure where I'm at right now. Done about a 0.75. The kids are getting out of school. Noon. Early. Maybe it's a half a day today. Several, several kids walking around. Let's see where am I? Okay. I walk down this way. Heading back towards the Ferrari garage. It's got a salmon, salmon stucco, I guess. And back to the 60s houses. Never even been in a Ferrari seen a lot of Ferraris. Never been in one, let alone driven one. I think it costs like six or seven thousand dollars just to get a tune-up or something. So I don't know unless you got enormous amount of money. Here we go with an old car. What is this? Old Chevrolet. Malibu Impala. Old Impala, that's from the 70s. I don't know what year it is. Let me know if you know what year. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. Body looks good. I don't know if that's the original color. It might be. Looks like it. The door handle's the same color. I got a feeling it might be.
Yeah, try to do a little bit different walks every now and then. This one's been really interesting. Down to Hermosa was a week or two ago, Saturday. Was it Saturday or Sunday? I don't remember. Sunday, I think. And all the Ferraris and Lamborghinis and big houses today. This house is working on this house. I guess they're redoing it or tearing it down one. Looks like they're redoing it. It's 50 years ago, these were all these little one-story track homes. And they've, uh, look at this tree. That's a Bougainvillea tree, I think. Look at that. Usually in a vine, that's a tree. A Bougainvillea tree. Huh. That's something. Have you ever seen it in like a bush? Like a bush or a tree, I guess it's more like a bush. It's an old car there, I don't know what it is. They got it covered up, you can see the big white walls at the bottom. It's a big tall car, that must be, it's gotta be from the 40s, I would assume. Something big like that, I don't know what it is. Maybe the 30s. I don't know what it is. Then you got these now ultra modern cars that designs with no door handles and little brake light all around the back. Key. I don't know what the Kia? I don't know what that is. I don't know. It's I don't know. A nice little ranch here. One story from probably I guess from the 60s again. They just came through here and built all these track homes and some of them are still around. Big house here. Whew. Gotta be. Five, six bedrooms, four or five. houses are all right on top of each other not much of a yard or property it's big house after big house that's where I walked down a little while ago here's a, an old uh, Chevrolet again. I think that's another Impala. I'm not sure what that is. It's the back side of the garage with all the Ferraris. I got one sitting out back. Go will past there again and that'll be about it. This is much more interesting than I anticipated. Thought we were just going to see the the Ferraris and the Lamborghinis. I saw some hidden streets with some big, huge houses. They like said they look more like they're in Manhattan Beach than Redondo. Redondo, you see a lot of three on a lots. It's no, some type of Ford truck. I don't know what that is board of some sort. Here's all the Ferraris we walked past a minute ago. Beginning of the tape. Well, you guys get cars from all over the country here, huh? huh? You guys get cars to work on from all oh, over yeah, the country? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's different collections. And they just send them here, yeah, huh? different collections. Yeah, it's interesting. A lot it's kind of these of... cars are, uh, rallied in, in Italy. Oh really? Yeah, so uh, that's why that's why you'll see some of them here with foreign plates. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of a hidden gem back here, yeah. huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. How long you been here? I've been here eight years. There's guys that have been here 16 years. I think the place has probably been here a little over 20 years. 
years. Oh, 20 years, yeah. yeah. I drive by here every now and then just to see the cars yeah, parked out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of a thing around the street, you know, everybody does. Yeah, it comes down. It's to the point where it's like, yeah, you're coming down Candy Cane Lane. Yeah, I know. That's cool, yeah. You got a bunch more in there too, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. We, we are a one-stop one, uh, one shop. Uh, we do restoration, we do service, we do rally support. You do body work too, or uh, not too much? Yeah, no, we do, we do body work. We have a, we have a fabricator here, we have a machine shop, oh, we man. have an engine dyno, everything. Wow. The only thing we don't do here is, is, is paint, but we get it finalized to where all they need to do is just spray. But we it's do ready all to go, body huh? work, everything. And here. then you just ship them back if they're across the country or, or across the seas or overseas or something like yeah. that? Yeah. They usually will fly them over and if there aren't any other rallies they want to do, they'll, you know, send them by boat. Yeah, that's crazy. But, uh, yeah, a lot of these cars, it's more in June. You'll see a lot more of the uh, foreign uh, license plates. Oh, yeah. In April because uh, we'll get start start getting some of the cars, so we prep them, we prep them here. Ever work on any Jay Leno's cars here? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, uh, <laughs> I don't even think I don't even remember if the uh, episode ever even uh, aired. Uh -huh. It was uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the Lancia Zero. Okay. It's a concept car by uh, Bertone. No, I never seen it. Yeah. But, uh, He's got one, huh? Well, that was uh, I want to say maybe four or five years ago. Oh and yeah. I was able to. I went as the uh, technical. Uh, oh, advisor on uh, that. Uh, advisor on that car. Oh man. But uh, it was, it's a concept car, it's pretty crazy, but it was cool. But I, I remember I kept w waiting for that episode to air. We took two cars of the same owner. Yeah. And the other Lancia, uh, right away, the episode came out, but huh? I, I at least never saw the uh, the other one with Yeah, the, you have uh, a picture of it? Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah, it looks like you might work on anywhere from... Oh yeah, that's sharp. That one. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It looks like a 300 you, miles an uh, hour car. The uh, windshield pops open. The windshield. And then you step into it and you're literally <laughs> oh, like laying down. But it was a con it's a concept it's a car. Concept. So, uh, Is it like a million dollar car? Ah, uh, it's 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 up there now. I mean, it's yeah. definitely uh But uh at the time it was it was uh it was a uh, design uh Bertone wanted uh, uh, Lamborghini to give him, you know, a shot at at designing a car. Oh yeah. So he uh, designed that one to uh, basically, if I go to if I go to the gate, they're not gonna let me in. So I'm gonna <laughs> design something where I can it's low enough to where I can just drive right in, and there's no way they're gonna turn me away. From yeah. Car. And that was basically wow. the uh, idea behind that car. So you guys were working on it here. Yeah, we uh, it actually sat. I think before the the owner, the current owner, bought it. It it was a uh, it was in a museum. Really? So it's it, it was it sat for a bit. So it uh -huh. you know any car that sits that long needs to be uh, anything rubber, any hoses. It's so we went through it, uh, make sure everything electrical was operating, uh, and made sure that it was safe. Cause they uh, say, when they go on the Jay Leno show, they do they do end up driving. They drive them, yeah. yeah. They drive them. So. They say that's the worst thing you can do for a car, just let it sit. Oh, oh yeah, it is. Yeah, We've had plenty of cars here that have come out of garages where it, the car looked clean on the outside. Yeah. But that's and the thing is the moisture, the uh, years and years of it. sitting. You know, it's sitting that anything in that engine bay that's metal just Rocks on the out. Like I said, sometimes on the outside, the paint... <laughs> Is what makes it still look pristine yeah. until you go in there and then you get things like that where it starts to fit in areas where you don't see it. You just can't take it on the road. Yeah, and you can. That's where the, and that's what happens. It's you know, oh, let me just change the oil. Let me let me crank it uh, yeah. over. It'll start up. But all of a sudden, everything that that sat there and rotted and weakened. Yeah. You're it's seeing pressures that that all, it wasn't seeing. All of a sudden, you've got blown gaskets, blown even metal where it'll just you know you have pinhole leaks. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's it's pretty common. What was that? Just recently, this week, they found a, a bunch about 22 Ferraris in some warehouse that hadn't been touched in a year. Mm. Did you see that? Uh, no. No, but yeah. I mean, it, it happens. It happens from it was, time uh, to time. I want to say what about six years ago? Uh huh. A Ferrari that they found in an apartment. An apartment. In an apartment. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> in an apartment. They actually had it on display in uh, Pasadena. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, they uh, have an event there every year. Uh, I think the last, I think after COVID, yeah. I don't think they ever did it again. But they actually had the car there on on display. It, oh, interesting. Somebody, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Got it in their apartment somehow. What, but they knew what they had, and they knew yeah. I, 
got to take care of it, so they put it Man. in the apartment. Well, that's crazy. I always like to walk by here, so I appreciate you yeah, talking yeah. to oh, me. No, yeah. Every time you come, there's going to be something different. There's always something different, yeah. So, use most almost all foreign cars, right? No, actually, no. We've had, we've had 